What is up guys, this is Arkansas Mud Kings. We got a new camera we're trying out. Hopefully the audio is good and stuff on it. Um, so what we are doing today, lighting's gonna be a little off, but uh, we are at the new house. We got the Renegade here, torn apart. I mean, she's de-swamped completely now, but we are going to be doing something new today. Um, so this is gonna be how to paint ATV plastics. Before I jump into this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my newest sponsor, XClear. Just got this in the mail. It is all the way from the United Kingdom. So this is a lens cover that goes over a GoPro lens. This one is specifically made for the Hero. I believe it's the 5, 6, and 7 all have the same size. And then with the 8, yeah, right here, Hero 5, 6, and 7. They make one for the 8 as well. Um, but the eight, you no longer can take this off. And so it is a slightly different size. They have a different one for that. You can see these GoPros we use take a whole lot of abuse. Um, so, uh, what this is going to do, um, it repels all the water off of it. It makes it uh, chip resistant and it, uh, keeps the mud off of it as well. So, it is made specifically for like projectiles and um, oil, mud, water, and snow. So it should um, make it incredibly good for what we use. Um, but yeah, I uh, love the design of this. Like this is super strong. You're not gonna get one in that's cracked. Um, everything in here is separated out. It's got instructions. It's got, um, this is just the order form. But um, yeah, so completely recommend this product. I'll be using it on um, all my GoPros from now on. And um, let's get out there. Uh, I'll cut to the video. Up here, I'm now living up in Fayetteville. Of course, we're the Arkansas Razorbacks. So we're going to be painting this thing Razorback Red. Um, we have, uh, this is some plastic primer bond specifically to plastic. Um, hopefully you can see that, yeah, but so this is Rust-Oleum, good brand, and um, so first we're going to strip this thing down and get, um, we're going to get the plastic sanded down first. We've got some 400, 800, and 1000 grit sandpaper, and I might actually get uh, like 1500 or 1600 grit sandpaper as well once we get this thing kind of fine tuned a little bit. Um, I'm going to see how it looks with, with the 1000 and then we're going to go from there. Um, it is a little dark so I'm going to try to pull all the plastics up uh, up here in the light so we can see everything good but um, yes yeah, so we're going to dive into this and show you the process. So because I had an older four wheeler um, I have already used this and pulled all the stickers off. Um, all the stickers were kind of faded and peeling off already. Use this to get all of like this adhesive stuff off. You can see it did a pretty good job of it there's still a couple little things but um, yeah so the first thing I'm gonna do is just fully um, clean it and get just a rag clean all the dirt and mud off you can see where um, this is where the seat was and so it didn't wash well with the pressure wash this is where another piece of plastic was so it's a little dirty a little scratched up and I'm actually just gonna get like a wet rag and do it that way So you can see, a whole lot cleaner. Sits right like this, a lot cleaner. I'm gonna kind of rinse this off with just some uh, non-soapy water, um, just kind of dry it off a little bit. Um, and then the next step is going to be um, sanding it down. All right, so this is gonna be a 400 grit sandpaper. Um, just gonna leave this rag on in there, but I'm gonna tear it in half just because it makes it a little easier to manage with your hand. And you're going to be wet sanding it, so I'm gonna dip it in there. And uh, you can also have a spray bottle, but I'm just gonna do it just kind of in this little bucket. And basically, the point of the 400 
I'm gonna stop that awful noise, hopefully, with that. But, uh, so the point of the 400 is to get all the big scratches out, and then um, as you work into a smaller sandpaper grit, so I'm gonna do 400, 800, then 1,000. So right now, I mean, after some trail use and stuff like that, your plastics are gonna be all scratched up, and you don't want to have all scratched up plastics when you're, when you're painting them new. So uh, this also will help get all the rest of like the extra sticker stuff that you can see right here, all just the scratches. Hoping that's focusing on that. I'm actually gonna turn this thing around. Let's see if I can. Yeah, so that should be focusing. Turn up a little more. Yeah, so right here you can see all just the scratches. So we're gonna try to be getting those out, uh, getting all like all the little cuts and scrapes out of the plastic. Um, I might end up actually grabbing a towel just because this noise this makes as these little pins scrape across the floor is just kind of awful. But yeah, so that is the point of this step here. And uh, I'll show you an after for the 400 grit, an after for the 800, and after 800 for the 1000. Uh, this process, I'm going to do this one in a circular motion. So be going like this, like the wax on, wax off, and then um, we're going to be going from circle motion, and then once we get to the 800 uh, plus, we are actually going to be going uh, like one way. Instead of going circle, we're going to be going one way, and then we're going to go the other way with it, and try and just uh, minimize all the swirls and the grooves that we're going to be making with these. All right, so you can see, this looks a whole lot better. Um, it is still a little bit dirty, so I'm gonna re just like clean it. But you can see how much better these scratches down here look. You can barely even tell that they were there at all. You will see a lot of micro scratches, and it'll turn your plastics a little bit white. Don't worry about it. Um, especially if you're already, you already know you're painting anyway. But um, all that whiteness will come off when um, when you uh, use the higher numbered um, sandpaper. So I use one piece for this uh, side panel. And when you cleaned it off, you can really see all the micro scratches it left. And so basically, all your big scratches should be gone with the 400 grit. And um, then basically now all you're gonna have to do is use the higher grit ones to get out all the micro scratches left by the 400 grit. And that should basically do it for this piece, not now, but once, once we uh, get that done. I might touch this up a little bit um, right there in the corner, but it's just where those plastics are rubbing against each other. So uh, I might mess with it a little bit, but uh, overall, this piece looks really good. The back um, looks really good as well. So we're going to jump into the next one, and um, I'll update you in just a second. Alright, you can already tell it is so much less white. It feels so much better with that 800 grip. Um, but this is what it now looks like. This is what it now feels like. Super smooth. Um, still going to do the 1000 grip. Um, definitely still needs just one more step above, but this already feels incredible and it already looks so much better. So this is what it looks like now and jump into the 1000. Alright, so this is after 1000. Completely smooth. You can hear it's not like scratchy sound. Like you can tell it's a whole lot smoother. It's brightly colored again. So this looks absolutely incredible. Super excited about how it looks right now. Can't wait to see what it looks like painted. All right, so here it is after one layer of primer. I have a thing in my hand so I can dry it in a little bit. But um, yeah, I messed up a little bit on the bottom. Got a little thick, but overall pretty proud of it. About to throw on the second coat. It dries after about 20 minutes, I think it said. And then um, go for the second one. All right, so here is the first plastic. Um, it is a little light, um, kind of right here. I missed a little bit, but uh, 
This is just the first coat. Um, I'll be doing, I'm thinking two more coats of this. And it should be good. It looks really nice. I love this red. But this is what it looks like compared to the old one. That is not showing up. I'll put a picture up right now. Uh, comparing the two. And then um, we're going to do the second coat. Even her out a little bit. And then um, do the other plastics. And I'll show the final result for all of them together. Alright, this is after two coats. Let's say whole lot better than it did the first time even. Um, very evenly coated, looking really good, really clean look. It's glossy because of that light, but really fresh like candy paint. Uh, I'll show you the bottle I'm using, or the can I'm using I guess. Glossy Cherry Red is what it's called. Um, but yeah, so really excited about it. Pull the four-wheeler over into the light more so you can see the before and after. Looking really good, really excited. Um, can't wait to keep doing more. Gonna do one more coat on this, gotta let it dry. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes to dry. Gonna do another coat on this one and then let it, um, I'm gonna hang it. Uh, this little uh, arm right there, that thing. I'm going to hang it on that and uh, let it cure for, it says to cure, let it cure for like 24 to 48 hours, so uh, I'm not going, this thing's not going anywhere anytime soon, so I'm going to do it the full 48 hours. Alright, so I have the final product here. Um, we've got, this is all um, embossed in, I'll show how I did that in a separate video, but it looks pretty good. I like that a lot. But yeah, overall, like really impressed with it. Looks really good. Um, still have to do this. I did do this one, and um, still got to do um, this. Still have to do this, and I have to actually buy a new piece for the other one because it was broken. But yeah, so this is how we do it. If you like, if uh, if you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe. We have all sorts of four wheeler videos coming up. Um, Hoping to get this thing out in the mud again soon. I've definitely got some videos of it out there already. Since we're up in Fayetteville, I've got really nothing to do until the end of October. I'm gonna try to go out to Harvest Fest. So we're gonna try to um, get this build going. Be sure to tune in and see what all gets done to it because it's gonna be crazy at the end of it. So have a good one. Be sure to check out the channel, like and subscribe. Peace out.